All right, out here on a new job. It's a bathroom tear out. So, <laughs> gotta take this shower out, take this wall out. Rich is gonna take a nap. Huh? What? Sleeping on the job. All right. You get paid ninety dollars an hour. You gonna sleep on the job? Yeah. What's up guys? I haven't recorded much. I've been pretty busy with work, but um, I'm just gonna tell you what I've done in the past couple of days on the vehicles. I decided to tackle the flares. Ran out of primer paint, so that's why it looks like this. I'm gonna probably wet sand it. I'm gonna do the driver's side for now. I got enough base coat, but I don't have enough primer. And then I've been getting my primer from Harbor Freight and they were out too, so wasn't able to get any right now. And this is how they look. I had to wash them up, sand them real good, clean them, and then start spraying on. Um, for the Civic, exhaust is working fine. I did make some stickers. And for the Civic, I did get some SI emblems. One for the hood, and then one for the hatch. Let's just see what that one looks like. Right there. So all that looks good. I was kind of worried because I bought them off of eBay for like 10 bucks. But what I did at the Tacoma is I cut the rear cat out. Um, I've had this done for a day or two. And I've been battling the P0420 code. And that's with the rear cat or the rear O2 sensor. So what I did was I made my own test pipe. Um, this right here looks funny because this is actually pipe that I cut off of another pipe. So it's got two and a half inch pipe here to two and a quarter or something like that and then I just flush welded it there so that's the same size piping going together and then this one overlaps um, that pipe so that's why those welds look funny because the two and a half inch pipe is only like a inch so I did that still got the front cat still got the O2 sensors in and I had zero codes for about 50 miles, and then I just got the P0420 back in. So I might have to do the resistor and capacitor on that blue and white wire, I believe it is, what you have to do. So it's a four wire connector for the O2 sensor, and I think all you do is tap into the blue and the white. I'll have to look back on the form that I found. So right now my exhaust is just um, stock headers, um, no rear cat, and then one six, 14 or 16 inch glass pack, and then two a four inch tip. <clears throat> and I love the way it sounds right now, like it sounds really good. So that's what I've been doing on the Tacoma. Everything's doing fine on the front end, what I've replaced, like the rack and pin bushings and the white line control arm bushings. So all that's holding up. What else? Right now I do have the um, mud flaps on. I need to find out a way to redo the four wheel drive because that paint or whatever it is is worn off on the passenger side. I did make this sticker too. Save the manuals. Like this one here, that lettering looks okay. I did make a sticker for the truck. TW's garage. Um, still need to redo these. I did get in body mount bushings by energy suspension. Bought that from Wheeler's Off-Road. 
like I said, I've just been working a lot. <clears throat> I did buy these from Harbor Freight. These like goat skin um, gloves. I love these. Never had them before and bought them because they were on sale. And I love them because they feel like TIG gloves. And I love to weld, so wearing these while I'm on a construction job makes me feel like I'm back home. But I did get that black uh, four-wheel drive, you know, shifter knob here to match my Scion TC shifter there. I believe that's what I got this off of is a Scion. Still haven't found a tan shifter bezel there with the extended cup holder. Like I said before, it's, you know, one here and then you can pull it out and then you can have two cup holders. So it's just pretty neat. I like that. And then one day I probably will put a bench seat here just because of the dogs and everything. But everything on the front, still the same. Still have the rims and tires. I've, I've got them for sale. I don't know what wheels I want to go with, but I'm trying to get away from the wheel spacers. I'll probably either do Falcon wheels or Rotiform. Uh, something different. Something that I know that somebody wouldn't have like around where I live. And the other day when I was doing the exhaust work on the Tacoma, I brought out my dad's like 2001 year model Milwaukee um, cutoff saw. And he said that he had changed the blade because this, this blade's like basically brand new. And this thing did awesome. Um, cutting up the two and a quarter inch pipe. Had zero issues with that. This is the um, little clock that you get from Homer Freight. Maybe do something with like a Milwaukee logo or either a Toyota or Honda logo in it. I think that would be cool. And I got the toolbox that everybody wants and they can't get because it's either sold out or on back order. I don't know how I was fortunate enough to get this box. So I do need to show y'all what I did with my pack out setup that I take to the junkyard. I bought some socket holder stuff i got it off of ebay um they're made by goliath tools here's some of the little socket holders here that go on the rails um here's some here goliath industrial tool these things are really nice they're not magnetic but they are screwable to like wherever you want it and I got a four rail with a handle piece. I'll show you, it's, it's pretty cool. One thing that I do have to do is to get on the forerunner and get that front differential out because I got to send it to East Coast Gear Supply so they can re-gear it. And possibly, I haven't made up my mind, I'm probably gonna do an ARV air locker in that. So then I'll be front and rear air locked and once I do that, she'll basically be unstoppable wherever she wants to go. So I just got to take it all out so I don't have to pay so much for the labor. All right, I wanted to show you guys this before I fully do it um, because I already forgot to record some of the installation. I'm going to try to show you some of the installation on the other side. But this is the energy suspension. The port number, I believe, is this. Yeah, right there. 8.4107R. So, this is for your body mount bushings. As you can see on this side here, this is the factory bushings. And then this is the energy suspension bushings. This one is in the rear because the bed bolts straight to the frame so you don't have to worry about the bed. So this one here is this one right here. And then this is your middle one, which sits here. 
then this is your front one that sits, you know, way up in the front behind the front bumper. So this is the front bushing here. It's pretty much shot. Toyota, they make, you know, awesome vehicles, but their bushings are not up to par. So I usually replace all of the Toyota bushings in my cars and trucks. And then this is the middle one. All these are fixed in. The middle one is probably the hardest one you do. And then this is the rear one. And as you can see, all these stress cracks here in the rubber, that was because the body was actually pushing this further down, making the body lines, making the body, so the body here, not matching with the body lines of the bed. Which I know I got some dings in the truck, but now I've done the driver's side. To me, it's a perfect lineup. It looks way better than it did before. You can go back and look at other videos and just really, really look at the body lines and you'll notice that the cab part is half inch lower than the bed part. So the front is pretty easy. That's what it looks like installed. The front's very simple. You know, you don't, shouldn't have any trouble doing the front. Uh, and the middle is the one that gave me problems. So what it, what it is is that you have these that you have to put back in there. So you have to take these and they run, this is the top, they run the 14 mil bolt from the top down. So you gotta get a flex head um, on top of it to take those 14s out. So you can either use a flex head or you can take it and bend this out of the way. I didn't wanna cut this because I may, which I'm gonna do rock sliders. So I don't even really need these, but these are the factory running board mounts. And um, Here's the bolts you gotta take off for the top plate. So you gotta jack it up pretty high. I had to, I had to make this part, the body, at least four to five inches higher than the frame because the original bushing that was here just wouldn't slide out. So what I did was I took the angle grinder, I cut the front part here at an angle I tried to just go, sorry about that. I tried to just go with this body line that's right there and just make a flush cut all the way. And that made it to where when I jacked it up, I could get to that bolt with no problem. The rear, as long as you jacked it up high enough, you could get to the 14s. So the rear is uh, kind of a piece of cake because what they did was they rounded off this body here so you can get a wrench in there or a ratchet. Same on, same on the other side. They kind of rounded it out a little bit or made that mount higher so it's easier to get to. So it's pretty straightforward. It only took me about, I say, 30 minutes to do the driver's side. I've done plenty of body lifts on these trucks, so I know what to do. I just, I've never replaced the factory bushings. And as of right now, the body lines are matching up. So that's, you know, A1 for that. But hopefully I'll notice some kind of ride quality difference. I don't know. Truck rides good as it is, so it won't bother me. I probably won't even notice if it does ride better or shouldn't ride worse because these polyurethane bushings from Energy are just awesome. So, but yeah, if, I, if I'm if i able to get a video of installing the passenger side, I will. Other than that, if you just watch through these past five minutes, you know exactly how to do the install. The instructions are really simple. Um, I like to actually see the product being assembled instead of having to read just like words here. 
So they do a really good job labeling it out. So position one is your front, position two is your middle, position three is your um, rear port, which will be right there. Other than that, you'll be good to go.